Love you. Today what we are going to do is we are going to unbox the, the new black Ryobi 40 volt self-propelled lawnmower, which is model number 1004-520-196. And so we are going to unbox that and do a little versus video and see what the limitations are on my older 40 volt lawnmower compared to the new one. This comes with a 6 amp hour HP battery. So we are gonna see if we could actually put that in the 40 volt lawnmower that I own. Now this is not mine, it's my friend Matt's. He's letting me unbox it and we're gonna test it out. I already took it out because I was hoping to be able to uh, test this out, but we have the, it, this six amp hour battery is massive. It is an HP battery. Now if you wanna compare it to the regular five amp hour battery, it is huge completely a different size, like twice the size. So this is, a, this is an HP battery. All right, so let's see what this, uh, this looks like. Comes with a bag. That thing is big. All right, this does come with a standard charger. It is not a, a rapid charger. And so this is not the one you put on the wall. You just slide this in, then it'll leave it on the ground or surface that thing is huge oh that's that's actually pretty that's actually pretty heavy so very easy adjustments just like the other one which is good and that's that that's even easier yeah that's a lot easier than the other one there you go, that, that is massive. Instructions and warranty is in, inside the bag. All right, so on this one, the, the right, Ryobi is on the top of the bag, it's not on the sides. All right, this attachment goes in like so. There we go. Because of this uh, modification right here, I'm pretty sure you might be able to take that off. No, you can't. All right, so that locks into place up here. And yeah. It's a snug fit. I'm just gonna put that in for my friend. And there you go. That's that. All right, let's see. Let's, okay, that gets lifted up like that. All right, yeah, these, you could put uh, huge batteries in here. Huge batteries. All right, so this is model number RY401012VNM. And a 40 volt system, 20 inch lawnmower. Uh, it does not give the RPMs. I'll put that in right now. I do not know what it is, but one thing I did notice is that this the new model does not have this springed hatch. So what they did is, is they created that, that locking system onto the body instead. You know, but I, honestly, I like this better. Because if this is traditional to have a, a spring-loaded hatch right here, and yeah. And then this one only has the, this locking system right here that doesn't really lock, but it's just pressure that keeps it in. I, I'm not a fan of that. All right, this is the inside. Inside is huge, though. That's huge. You could put big batteries in there, and in here you're limited to uh, five amp hours. So let's a regular regular battery. So let's actually put that six amp hour in there. Let's see how what space is left. All right, so we got the HP battery right here. Yeah, not even close. That's way too small to put this in there. So if you have this lawnmower, do not buy the big batteries. The five amp hour is what's limited to using this. You have a lot of space left. Plenty of space left for even a seven, point, a seven amp hour. So yeah, that's the benefit of having this lawnmower is the space for the batteries.
All right, but we are going to let this battery charge, and we're going to test these, test this out and go against the 40 volt that I got. All right, so first we're going to use the, the new Ryobi lawnmower first. And I'm also going to see on how easy this is compared to the one that I have. All right, we'll have the self-propelled at half speed. Do that, that. All right, so. Okay, one, two. All right, so that turns the motor on first, then you go. All right, let's actually lower this to the second setting. Okay, then one, two. What I'm, I'm used to having the 16 inch lawnmower. So having a 20 inch lawnmower makes a world of a difference. Alrighty, so hopefully I'm recording and I am. All right, so when it comes to, when it comes to the self-propelled new lawnmower, th this thing is awesome. This thing really is awesome. You know, one of the things I get used to is releasing the the forward lever every time you turn around or you're that motor is just going to fight with you when it comes to the self-propelled motor so yeah so let's whip out the green lawn mower really quick and see uh see how well that does against the new self-propelled lawn mower with and this has a six amp hour hp battery my lawn mower has a four amp, uh, five amp hour and a four amp hour so let's see let's see what the difference is all right so when it comes to turning this on it's much lighter. This model is a seriously a lot lighter. Instead of three uh, things you gotta do, just do two. One, sorry, one and two. And it seems to be a lot quieter as well. Oh. That's right, gotta put that to one. This one's a lot quieter by a long shot. All right, so when it comes to when it comes to these motors, you could use the self-propelled lawnmower without the self-propelled feature. You just don't pull the green triggers on the handle. Then it just operates the the blade, and then that's pretty much it. So the both of these are actually pretty warm. So we're gonna finish the I'm, I'm gonna f finish the lawn. See how far I can go with one six amp hour HP battery with using the self-propelled motor. All right, so let's continue.
both of these lawnmowers did the job a lot better than my old 16 inch 18 volt one plus uh, lawnmower. The 40 volt system is so much better when it comes to lawn care because for the tall grass, it just plows right through it. Now, when it comes to the, the new model of the brushless with the self uh, propelled motor, it actually didn't use that much power, uh, half the battery. With using the self propelled motor, and this is the first time I'm cutting the grass, so it only used up half the battery. So that's actually pretty darn good because actually I have, a, I have a decently sized backyard and front yard. And yeah, so it did a fantastic job. And so, but yeah, but this, uh, the new model is worth it. My preference, the older model. I think the, the older model looks so much better. It looks so much cooler. The new model is a little plain, straight lines. I like the, the curve and design of the old model. But the, the difference is you can only use a five amp hour battery or less in this model. I really don't need the self-propelled on my lawn because I don't have that much of a hill. Besides that little, that I just go up and down a couple of times, it was nice to use, but I really don't need that. My situation does not require a self-propelled motor. So I'll still, so I'll stick with my uh, older model, which I just got it brand new a few, uh, about a month or two ago. So for 200 bucks, couldn't be that deal with a four amp hour battery or a five, four or five amp hour battery, I forgot which one. So that's pretty much it. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is Dave Nicholas, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.